This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by CarePoint and HCA Health One. So, Medical Minute, uh, talking about that little controversy in medicine about uh, what drug to use in a certain situation. So, specifically talking about pulseless ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation, patients getting CPR, that they're in VT, VF. Um, what drug would we use for, you know, besides the fibrillation, epi, what antidysrhythmic would we typically use? What'd you say? So lidocaine's one. What's the other one? Amio. Amio. So, yeah. So that's kind of the big question regarding this topic. And for a while, I'd say the trend was kind of towards amiodarone. There were some studies that showed that amiodarone was maybe better, getting people out of VT, VF, better ROS, better survival. I'd say it's probably what most people reach for. Most EMS agencies, I think, use that. So most patients get that before we get they get here. But there's been a couple studies recently that showed that maybe lidocaine's better. So in 2023, uh, there was a study in in in-hospital cardiac arrest that showed a trend towards better outcomes with lidocaine. There was recently another one uh, looking at -at out-of-hospital cardiac arrest, similar thing. Lidocaine was a little bit better for getting ROSC, hospital discharge, survival. So, you know, I would say that I don't know if... A lot of you have used lidocaine in this situation. It's pretty easy. It's 1.5 mg per kilo. So usually it's like 100 milligrams for the first dose of uh, antidysrhythmic. And, you know, maybe there's a little better benefit. It's hard to say at this point. I think it's still pretty controversial. Hopefully there'll be some more good studies. But yeah, if you see someone reaching for lidocaine, it's very reasonable. Amiodarone's probably fine too. But, you know, it's one of those areas that hopefully we'll get some answers. But either one's good. But maybe now there's a trend towards lidocaine. So thanks, everybody. This has been the Emergency Medical Minute. Thank you to our sponsors, CarePoint and HCA Health One. Support from them and listeners like you helps us to continue providing free medical education to the masses. If you found this episode valuable, consider supporting our work and check out the link in our show notes.